Hey, it's Ben Wise's War Fitness, and today I wanna to talk about using blended cyclical work for developing aerobic power. So I'm gonna be demoing today an air bike and row workout from the Zor Signature Program um, that's available through the Assault Fitness app. So I'll link to that below. You can definitely check that out. It's available for free. And the workout that I'm gonna be doing today that's from the app and actually from the, the program that I wrote is it's a uh, 25 minute workout. It's an interval style workout. So it's five total sets, each of those being every five minutes. And then it's a three minute working window. So you get two minutes rest in between. And then you'll do a 16 for males, 12 calories for females row. And then in the remaining time, you will do max calories on the air bike. But there's a catch. Every single round, you have to increase the number of calories that you're getting on the air bike or you terminate the workout. So you stop, right? So the goal is for you to get further and deeper into the workout in terms of your air bike calories every single interval. And if you don't do that, you're done with the workout, but then you just spin easy on the bike in your remaining time. Um, but the goal is for you to do all five of those, obviously. So there's a number of reasons why this blended cyclical work is particularly effective in generating fitness. So number one is that, especially if you're using two full body modalities, what I mean by that is like the air bike uses your entire body and the rower uses your full body. So when you're using both of those, what that means, especially when you're going back and forth between the two, is that your uh, total systemic fatigue, so like think like global in terms of like your entire body being used is much greater than your local or muscular fatigue. And what that means is that your cardiopulmonary system, so like your heart and your lungs, is gonna get taxed much more than an individual muscle and that just burning up and that's what's limiting your performance. So the entire body is what's being limited rather than one particular muscle group. So another reason why this blended cyclical work is particularly good at generating cardiac stress, so stress on your heart, is because you're invo um, alternating involved and non-involved muscle groups. So for example, like your hamstrings and your lats are being involved very minimally on the air bike, whereas the rower is gonna tax them a lot. And when you head over to the air bike, you're gonna be using like your quads a lot more. And then when you go over to the rower again, that should be minimized at least to a degree. So you're using these different uh, body groups and they're big muscle groups. So you're having to basically shuttle blood flow and turn off blood flow to one area and keep it going to another area. And it's a very uh, demanding process for your heart to be able to push blood to all those different places and to be able to maintain vasodilation. So think like keeping blood flow open to certain areas of the body. So think of it this way. If you have like a very small, small garden hose and you're trying to push um, water through there. It's not going to take a lot of pressure or like a, a big pump to be able to generate quite a bit of tension in that area. Whereas if all of a sudden you take that and you make that area huge, like think of like a, a storm drain, all of a sudden the pressure in that drops. So when the pressure drops, you have to be able to maintain a, a big cardiac output to be able to basically um, keep a good blood pressure and otherwise it's gonna drop. So it's a, again, it's a really stressful thing to your heart. I don't wanna dive too far into the physiology, but understand that this is one of the best ways that you can actually tax your cardiac system in a workout like this. And yet another reason why I particularly love using blended cyclical work for developing aerobic power is because it doesn't create much damage. Like these are low eccentric modalities in the, in the air bike and the rower. What I mean is there's no real lowering phase or catch phase, and that's really what's gonna make you sore. That's what's gonna create DOMS, that delayed onset muscle soreness that you have after like heavy back squats or something like that, because there's a big eccentric component. And with the, the ERGs, there's not a big eccentric component at all, which means that you're not gonna get sore, you're not gonna get super beat up, your joints aren't gonna hurt nearly as bad, it's not gonna affect your mobility over the subsequent, subsequent days nearly as much. And that's gonna allow you to continue to train hard, continue to um, put in work in other areas of your fitness besides just this. So it really allows you to continue to put in hard work in terms of like your systems and your um, chemistry, but not so much on like your mechanical systems, it doesn't create as much damage. 
So then lastly, one of the mistakes I see on blended cyclical work is people just going too hard too quickly. So right off the bat, um, I could use the example of like an air bike sprint where people get really high on their wattage right away um, and then their wattage is slowly gonna fall, but actually their heart rate is going to peak after they actually finish that sprint. So the heart rate takes a lot of time to actually slowly ramp up to speed, but yet their output was really high initially and then started going the opposite direction. Whereas you want to think about having those two sort of in alignment with one another where you start a little bit easier and you allow your heart rate to increase. And as your heart rate increases, you demand more of your heart. So um, this is a kind of a concept called cardiac lag, where it's basically just taking a little bit more time for your heart to sort of get up to speed um, along with the wattage that you're actually producing. So take your time, be a little bit more relaxed at the beginning of your workout and allow the workout to build. And that's what's ultimately gonna give you the, the adaptation that you want out of this workout. So again, head over to the Salt Fitness app to actually download the Zor Signature program. I'll put the link below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, it's 100% free. Um, I programmed it. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, and as always, head over to ZorFitness.com for training-related articles, movement breakdowns, and programming for the sport of fitness.